Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. In this video series, we're going to build an entire Precious Plastic workspace inside a shipping container. In a previous video, we bought ourselves a container and cut out two big holes in the side. And in this video, we're going to make the entire interior for the container. You can download all the technical drawings and blueprints on preciousplastic.com. If you have a question, feel free to post the topic in our forums. And now we're going to get started. So now the container is still empty, but we're going to fill it up. And we start from this side and work towards the end. And then this area is where the plastic comes in. So we need to have some space to sort it out. Then it's being shredded, then a place for the molds, then the machines, and in the end the display. Um, so we're gonna do all of that in this video, but we're gonna start off here with the bags. So the frames are mounted to the wall and we're going to put in these big bags later because first we're going to make a storage system for the shredded plastic. All right, so we finished the sorting. Now we're going to make some storage shelves. It's good to have some shredded plastic in stock because this is your raw material, your gold. So it's good to organize it properly. So let's start. Here we're going to install a storage system to store all our shredded plastic in buckets. You can just get yourself a shelf system, but we're gonna make one ourselves, so you can do it as well. Here we have the metal frames for the storage. Next, we're gonna add some wooden shelves. Storage finished, next we're gonna make a little table. So we finished the storage system, now we're gonna make a table. This is an easy one. Welcome to welding. The table is pretty basic as well. We built this one ourselves, but you could also get an existing one. When you're running a workspace, it's nice to have some additional storage for your tools, molds, equipment. So we're gonna make this storage system based upon old plastic crates. Super good for organizing stuff.
So the storage is made for some basic crates. You just slide them in on a few profiles and you can access them both ways. I also made a bigger version of that. You can see the video here. Um, but for now you just need to adapt the frame to whichever crate you have around so you can store your molds, tools, that kind of stuff. Right, next we're going to make something to wash the plastic. We do always suggest people to bring their plastic clean and washed so we can really focus on shredding and melting. However, we do like to provide the option to wash it. So we're going to install two buckets here made from a barrel. We got this nice second-hand big plastic barrel from a nice HTPE, um, but we're going to not shred it, we're going to use it to make a washing system on the door, so you can open it up and wash your plastic. Okay, so we installed the washing. It should be super strong. To gather the plastic, we're gonna put a small basic crate outside. This is where people can throw in their collected plastic. You can also use something existing, but we're gonna show you how to make it yourself. So first we welded a little framework on the door, a little bit like the others. And here we're gonna put on the wooden bucket. To make the box, we're gonna use wood. And for wood, you don't need to buy new fancy wood. You could use it from old pallets, or here we are in a building that's going to be demolished. So the ceiling contains a lot of nice wood. So we just strip it down, take it out, and if we send it again, it's going to look super nice. Basically people bring their plastic and we can sort it out. Now on to the next one. In the back of the container we're going to install some frames to display the objects that are made inside this container. It's nice to showcase them and show people what you can actually do with plastic. You need to weld a lot of cubes uh, from the same size, it's worth making one wooden mold. So you can easily make sure everything is straight and aligned before you weld it together. So we finished the display and when you, when you make this thing, make sure to do it carefully because on this side of the container everything is pretty 
rough and you see plastic like a waste material but here you really want to show that it's precious and valuable the things you made so make sure that the display area is well made and that you take care of the little details so now we have this one ready so we're going to do the last part inside which is actually install the machines so the last step is to include all of our machines but we're not going to show you how to do that in this video because we have that very well documented on our website with blueprints and technical drawings and step-by-step -step instruction videos. We did apply a few hacks and tweaks in here to make it a bit more optimized for the container. So here we have the shredder. It looks a bit different than the shredder from the video because this is version 2.1 and in the video is version 2. Not a big difference. Um, there's a few small changes we did. We made it a little bit lower, so it's more stable. We changed the hopper and changed a few things in the laser cutted part, so it's easier to make. Not huge changes. Shredder 2.0 still works good. But if you want to know how to make this one, you can find it in the download kit. All right, so here we have the compression machine. Also a few small changes compared to our version 2. The main difference is that the compression area is outside of the oven, which makes it easier to build and you can be a bit more productive because you can swap in and out molds, um, which makes it faster. So version 2 is also still good, but this is just a small update. You can also find it in download kit. Here's the injection machine version 2, same as the video. However, we added a small hack and that's to mount it to the wall. Again, this only works if you actually have a wall, but it saves a lot of framework. So for instance, if you have um, the original one, you need to, it's standalone, but you also need to build this whole framework. So if you have the chance to put it on your wall, it saves a lot of work. And also this drawing you can find in the download kit. And finally, we have the extrusion machine, our normal extrusion machine. We only added a different electronic box, this time laser cut it from wood. You could also make it from metal. All right, so we completed the second step of setting up your own precious plastic workspace. If you have any questions, feel free to post the topic in our forums. And if you need to download all the blueprints and technical drawings, go to our website. Now, in the next step, we're going to do uh, the final one, which is exciting, is to give it a paint job and add some last accessories. So really finishing up the entire project. Mm -hmm.